Welcome back. As a part of this video, we'll understand the data control language through hands-on with few examples. To understand the DCL, what we'll do is we'll look at what are the different users currently existing in our MySQL RDBMS. So how do I do that? Very, very simple. The way I do it is I'll say select user from mysql dot user. If I execute this, I'll get to know who are the different users in this RDBMS. So we have root, test, test one, and all these users are there as a part of this RDBMS. In order to demonstrate the data control language, we'll go ahead and create a user. Now I'll create a user named user test. I am able to do that because I have a root permissions here. I am creating a user called user test. Wonderful. If I go and execute this command again, you have one more user created. So, and also while creating the user, we are saying the password for the user is blissmas at one, two, three. And in one more terminal, we log into this user. How do I do that? Say MySQL iPhone U. And what was by our username? It is user test. Let me copy that so that I will not make mistake. To last me a password, I have to give the password which I provided while creating the user. Awesome. We are able to log in with this user. Right. So uh, let me work with this user. I'll say show databases. It has only one database. Now, if you see in this RDBMS, we had multiple databases, isn't it? If I go back and check the databases here, if I say show databases, I'm toggling between a root user and a test user. You can see there are so many databases here, isn't it? So what it means is even though we created the user, this user do not have a access to the databases. Let us try to access one database. Okay. I'll say use university. Ha. Can you see this? Access denied for user, user test at localized to database university. Means this particular user do not have and access to the this database. Let us grant all the permissions to this particular user. How do I do that? Again, a simple one. To grant the permissions, I will come back here and I will say grant all privileges on star. Star means all the databases dot star means all the tables within those databases. To which user? To user test. And let me go ahead and execute this. Now we granted all the permissions to this user and all the databases and all the tables in those databases in this RDBMS. Let us go back and check whether we have a permission or not now. Okay. So we got to exit this and come back. Okay. Let me log in now. Now I have provided all the permissions to all the databases and all the tables in those databases. Let us say show databases now. Remember, have logged in to MySQL using a user test user. The name of the user is user test. So if I say it lists all the databases now. If I say use university earlier it denied because we didn't have permissions. Yeah, we are able to use it. Let us try to create some table into that. Let us say show tables and see what are the tables we have. The table name is students. Let us try to create one more table into this. Okay. I'll create a table called pets. You have done it multiple times. I'm trying to create a table with the name pets. Remember with the user name, user test. Done. Let me insert couple of records into this. Okay. Let me see what are the records in this. Yes, we have couple of record like 
Pinky Bangalore, Dolly Mangler. Nice one, right? Pinky from Bangalore, Dolly from Mangalore. These are the doggies. Okay. So now what we will do is we'll go back to our root user and revoke all the permissions. Revoke means remove all the permissions for the user test and see if you are able to update any records here. Okay. So or rather let me update one record here. I'll say update pets set city to Chennai where name is pinky. So I will do that. It got updated. Let me check. So essentially for user named user test, since we granted all the permissions by logging into a MySQL through user test, we are able to work on all the databases, all the tables, and we can do all the operations like select, update, create everything. We will go ahead and revoke all the permissions for user test and see what happens. Okay. Instead of grant, I will say revoke. Revoke means remove all the permissions like revoke all the permissions. Yes. For the user test, I revoked all the permissions. Means I removed all the permissions for this user in this RDBMS. In this RDBMS, this user cannot work on any of the databases on any of the tables and this user will not be able to do any of the activities okay let me exit this now okay and come back and log in again okay one minute maybe i'm giving a different password i am able to log into this let us see if i want to update if i say show databases it is showing only one database here. Let me see if I can use university. No, it is not allowing. So since we removed all the permission for this user, we are not able to access even the databases also. Let us look at the last thing and wrap up this hands-on. So what I will do now is I will only provide the select permission for this particular user and see what happens there. I'll say instead of grant all, I'll say grant select means you will not be able to update, you will not be able to create, you'll be able to only select. Let me give a select permission to this user, then grant select permission. Yes, I provided only select permission to user user test on all the databases, all the tables. Let us go ahead and test this out. I'll say exit and log in back again. Okay, I logged in. And will I be able to see the databases now? Yes, I'm able to. Now let me go ahead and use university database. Yes, show tables. Let me say select star from pets. I'm able to select. Let us go ahead and try to update now and see if it works. How do I do it? Let me go ahead and say update. I'll update Chennai back to Bangalore. As of now, Pinky City is Chennai. Let us update it to Bangalore. What I will do is I'll say Bangalore, Bengaluru and see if it works. So, no. It says update command is denied to this user. You got to know, right? We can provide the activity specific, command specific privileges to the different users by using a DCL command, that is data control language commands. Wonderful. We do have various variations of this. We can provide access to only one database. We can provide access to only few tables. We can provide the permissions only for one activity like select like that we can do all the permutations and combinations depending upon the requirement in a project. Wonderful. We understood how the DCL commands work through hands-on examples. Please do practice. Thank you. Mm -hmm.